Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles right here in Mansfield, Texas. I'm here today to show you a 2005 Freightliner M2 Sport Chassis. This is a luxury trailer puller. You can pull a horse trailer, you can pull a race car trailer, just whatever you want. It's a hoss and it will definitely get the job done. It has a ranch hauler bed on it. And there's a little trap door that opens up and that's where the uh, gooseneck ball is. It's got a toolbox on the back, LED lights, big over the road truck rubber. It's a 265 75R225 and those are polished aluminum wheels. You can see the uh, marker lights down the side. The interior's got really nice vinyl and cloth and wood grain. Part of the sport chassis package. This rear seat will fold down into a bed. It's got nice headliner, lots of lighting. A wood console in the center. And this truck's in very good shape. The seats aren't torn. There's no spots. The wood has a few spots on it. It's got 184,000 miles and those of you that know for a truck chassis that's very low miles. We just took it and had the PM done which is the uh, preventative maintenance where they change the oil the filter, change the fuel filters. So it's ready to hit the road. It's got a nice stereo. It's got a subwoofer in the back so you can crank it up. The seats are air ride on both driver and passenger side. And this is a pre-emissions truck so you don't have to add any def fluid. You just put diesel in it and truck on down the road. There's all the uh, specifications right there. Um, of course it has air conditioning, it's got a CD player. It's got a Pioneer stereo with a flip up screen. It's got Michelin tires on the front, polished aluminum wheels. And it's powered by the Cat C7 over the road motor. They call it an ACERT motor. And it looks like whatever this is, part of the air conditioning system, it looks like it's been fairly recently replaced. A lot of people like to see yellow under the hood. Cat used to do a lot of over the road motor engines and when all the emission stuff came out they kind of withdrew and they're just doing their off road stuff. But a lot of people swear by the yellow motors, the cat motors. It's an Allison automatic which is very heavy duty. It's all electronic, computer controlled and it's ready for its new owner. In fact let's uh, start her up. And it does have a trailer brake control. And there's your uh, flat screen trying to pop up. I was listening to classic, listening to some classic rock on the way over here. Also has a backup camera. Anyway, we can play the radio later. That's your uh, control for the kicker box in the back. You can uh, control the base with that. 186, 942 on the odometer. Real nice, comfortable air ride seats. They got lumbar adjustments here. You can raise them up, lower them down. Carpet's in good shape, got a few little stains. I'm going to show you what I found wrong with it. There's a little place here where the wood is separated. The toolbox back here has a dent in it. Looks like they welded it up and there's another dent in the front. It's still functional and works, but it is deformed a little bit. These side rails, looks like something's been on that. 
some of the chrome is coming off. There's a little damage right back here. Probably when they got up under a trailer, they they didn't have the, the trailer up high enough. It does have a draw bar, four inch or a three inch receiver on the back. If you want to pull a bumper pull trailer. But this thing is a excellent ride quality. It'll pull lots of weight. Like I say, if you got a large horse trailer or a big RV you want to pull, this one will get the job done. They do make hubcaps for the front wheels. We didn't get any, but we thought about ordering them. They're like a kind of like a baby moon hubcap. Put the hood back down on it. There's a place I took a picture with a chrome. It's coming off the bumper. Kind of a little defect. But overall, it, it's a pretty flashy truck. There's some scratches here on the mirror outside. But the wheels have a nice polished look to them. It's got all the running board lights. And it drives really nice. Very smooth, lots of torque. I haven't pulled anything with it, but I'm sure I could pull in about anything I want to pull with it. It's got nice toolboxes on the side. It says not for hire. So it doesn't require a CDL unless you're doing commercial work. If you're pulling for pleasure, it's under the, uh, I think 26,000 capacity or total weight, whatever the laws are. You can check in your state but it's a neat truck. These trucks sell for about 150,000 new. Some of them are even more than that. And you get the advantage of buying it at quite a bit of reduced price. But the beauty of these big truck chassis and motors, they have lots of service life left. So it's nowhere near worn out with 180,000 miles. The fog light lenses are a little bit faded and the headlight lenses are also a little bit faded. I think they make kits where they'll buff, they can buff those out. But it's a beautiful truck. We appreciate you looking. We can deliver it anywhere in the United States or you can fly in. We can pick you up at the airport. We got it in our showroom here at Texas Best Used Motorcycles. Hope you have a great day. I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails.